Hello everyone, it's Pat with Pat's Home Projects and More. And today we're going to go ahead and finish up this project that we started a little while back. Uh, we began with doing this retaining wall and uh, the last project we did was the uh, walkway right here. So uh, today we're going to go ahead and get the rest of this bed graded down and covered up with some uh, weed barrier and stone put in and get this project wrapped up. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, uh, before we get started putting down the, uh, the barrier, I just wanted to kind of go through it real quick with you and let you know what it is I'm using and how I'm going to go about installing it. So uh, what I've purchased here was this is 4.1 ounce polypropylene weed barrier. Now, I'm not going to be using this as a weed barrier. It's more to just to separate the so keep the soil separated from the stone. So I don't want over the years the, the dirt to work its way up and and, and get in between all the stones. I'm gonna keep the stones separate from the dirt itself. So uh, this is the uh, product that I'm gonna be going with. This is six foot wide. It's uh, folded in half right now, so it's only three feet. And uh, you might be more familiar with this kind of weed barrier that you find at your typical uh, hardware store. Uh, I just didn't feel that this was gonna be strong enough for the long term. In the short term, it'll work. Uh, but for long-term use, I, I felt that this would break down under the weight of all the stone. Now, again, I'm not using this as a weed barrier. I'm not, I'm not a fan of using any kind of uh, fabric for weed barriers. Uh, weeds are going to grow wherever they want to grow, and uh, uh, I'm sure that even in my stones, I'm going to get a few weeds here and there. But again, primarily, I'm using it to keep as a barrier to separate the soil from. Uh, the stone itself. So these are the two, you know, this one's one that you're most commonly seeing. This one uh, I purchased uh, online. Uh, again, it's 4.1 ounces, six foot wide. Once I install that, um, we're going to have to put down some staples. Now these are landscape staples, and these ones are six inches long. And I'll use these things around just to keep the, the fabric down uh, secure until I'm ready to get the stone put in. So those are those. Now when it comes to cutting this fabric, this type of fabric you could just easily cut with, with a pair of scissors. That's not a problem. But with this, you don't want it to start fraying and separating because you know, this is interwoven. So really the two options, uh, one that you may have seen before is people use 
is just a torch. So once uh, they have everything laid down, they'll go around the perimeters or wherever they might want to put a plant or make a cutting, they'll, they'll uh, hit it with the torch. And that way it melts the other edges of the fabric so that it won't uh, start to fray on you. Now I'm going to be using something a little different. I didn't buy this for this purpose for another project I have planned, but I got this at Harbor Freight. Again, I'm not endorsing Harbor Freight or this product, um, but this is just a, it's like a, a heat uh, knife. So it plugs in, you can adjust the temperature on it, and then I'm just going to try and go around my areas of my edging of my concrete with this to melt the fabric and cut it as I'm going. So those are the products that I'm using and uh, that's what we're going to get started on. So let's go ahead and head on over there and we'll get laying down this fabric. So one of the problems I was running into was the staples were a little long and uh, my soil again is very sandy but I also have a lot of rocks in there and so uh, as I was nailing them in it was starting to bend the staples. So what I decided to do, since those staples were six inches long, was I just went ahead and cut about an inch to two inches off of the staples and uh, made it a lot easier for them to go in.
So deciding to go with the knife, uh, I felt worked out really well. Uh, as you can see here, it cuts a nice clean edge right along the concrete. Where had I used the blowtorch, it would have uh, not been as neat. There would have been a little bit more gaps. Uh, and um, I just felt that this, uh, this worked out pretty good. The only drawback to the uh, iron knife here is that uh, it does take a little bit of time to heat up to where it really melts at a pretty quick pace. But other than that, uh, I was pretty pretty uh, pleased with the, the results of the cutting. All right, everybody, we're done with that stone bed, so let's have a look. So this is what the bed looked like uh, at the beginning of the project prior to installation of the retaining wall. As you may have noticed, a uh, flagpole appeared during the middle of this uh, project here. And I do have a video on the installation of this uh, in an upcoming video if you're interested in uh, seeing how that was done. Okay guys, that wraps up this video. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.